Welcome everybody back to another podcast reaction. I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. And today we are watching Clonad episode 13. What happened last time? Last time we got some more insight into Kotomi's backstory. Yes. And a lot of mystery. We saw Fuko again as well, which was great. Didn't realize how much we missed her until she was gone. At least I didn't. She's awesome. But we walked into a Jujutsu Kaisen-esque, like the first scene in Jujutsu Kaisen, like <laughs> notes all over the walls and shit, but it's all like, it's seemingly she's trying to piece it together, like why her family died or was sucked away into an alternate dimension or whatever happened. I don't know if she's doing that on purpose I wonder, or what. The thing is, I wonder if she's taking it to like, so that she can figure stuff out or she like, like what yeah if there if it's some sort of like almost involuntary thing or if she's doing it so because and why she's getting so smart is so that she can try and like figure out what was going on or yeah. if she's cutting it out of books e even though she it? remember even though she's like clearly very smart and remembers things very easily you can like recall information we've seen that before um maybe she's doing it so other people d like other people don't have oh, that happen like, like other people it. don't go looking for that or yes. I, I i feel like either uh, either explanation is possible but i'll be yeah. interested to see what what goes on with that and it maybe if she remembers that they used to hang out when they were kids as well yeah. um there's a lot to explore for sure mm -hmm. and what the whole thing of is oh yesterday i saw a rabbit and a deer. And a deer, and, and we saw the you. shadows of those, and the butterfly as if well. If those are like things like coming over from the other or world, or if like or... the deer and the um, and the rabbit are representations of like her parents. Yeah. Because the deer had antlers, which means it's a male, and then the rabbit could be mom. Mm -hmm. But wait, was it was so was that Kotomi? You said that. Do you remember if that was Kodami who said that, so. or was that in the the snow robot world? I think we first heard that in the dream, and then again as he was walking up okay. to her room. Okay. Okay. So I think it was no, but we that they, they were flashing back to because she said because we heard what that what all that shit earlier in the story. We did. I'm like pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'll trust you, but I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure we did. Either way, I suppose we'll find out. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> In this episode, but you already know because you've already watched this show, you've supported the official release and are coming here to see our reaction, our view, and hear what we have to say about the show. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and maybe check out our Patreon to get ahead for future stuff. Let's go, Clonat episode 13. <laughs> Sad. It's sad that she knew the whole time. Hmm. She wanted for to forget, basically. She said she didn't know if he she like wanted him to remember, but she also didn't want him to remember. I'm really wondering when we're gonna I like I'm hoping it's soon that we get another flashback of this like the robot and the girl Yeah, I just I know we're probably not gonna get an explanation for a while. Yeah See Fuko, did you see that? Yeah oh, Okay My garden of memories mm, She's so cute <laughs> それは私の父さんの言葉。どうして私はコトミっていうの見てごらん、コトミ。この世界を形作っているのは目に見えないほど小さな、たくさんのハープだ。ちょっと、string theory。
でもとっても簡単なことなの琴美ちゃんは琴美ちゃん<笑>とても綺麗な三つのひらがな<笑>お父さんとお母さんの大事な大事な宝物モミゲーズ、キュー、サードの庭と私の世界はそれで全部だった、うん、So she could play <笑> For the butterfly. Butterfly was black. Mm. Oh. What? It's like how he came into the garden. That's how he came there the first time following the butterfly. True. I was a kid in school. I was a kid in school. I was a kid in school. みんなが考えないようなことばかり考えているから岡崎智也という男の子は学校の子たちとはちょっとだけ違うみたいだった。そうか、よし、とびきりかわいい子を探してあげるからね。本当はプレゼントは何でもよかった。女の子は普通、ぬいぐるみを欲しがるものだってご本に書いてあった。真似をしてみただけだった。さあ。急に決まった出張でねお父さんもお母さんもどうしても行かなくちゃならないんだお父さんもお母さんも一緒にいてくれるって智也くんも来てくれるのにお友達も連れてきてくれるお誕生日のお料理は作ってあるわ It's in the oven right now Don't forget about it Shit about the bear. Why? That's so sad. Why didn't he come? It's a guy. Not if you say it all creepy like that, <laughs> sir. To like child protective services or anything, to no other family or like Police anyone, in yeah, town like to come by and see if their daughter is alive. Did she burn it? She got rid of it. She tore it. She was just angry. She literally burned it. And that's not it. even what that was, because it was like this fat. Yeah, it was like a goodbye note or something like that. Holy shit! And that's how the house fire started. Yikes. Why is your memory blurry, though? Why can't he remember anything? 
And why didn't he show up on her birthday? Mm -hmm. Is it because like his parents heard it on the news, so then like kept, they decided kept him not away? to go there? It, like it seems like the opposite reaction to have. Like so shitty because I bet she literally every birthday is just a reminder. Alone, She's yeah. been alone, and that was like the time that she found out her parents died. So it's just like such a shitty time. But I hope that they can make it good for her. Mm -hmm. Need like a lawnmower. He just rips out all of the grass by hand in the entire yard. Get some scissors. <laughs> Little garden. Hmm. Gonna need some help. That's a dope shirt, by the way. <laughs> I want to do some gardening. <laughs> they have a violin, did you see? Mm. <laughs> wow. Great. And the あの<笑><笑> <laughs> it's literally like destroyed it's, but it's not it's just the neck great mm -hmm. we need the guy from whisper of the heart yeah exactly <laughs> Mm. A lot. <laughs> you mean you can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can shake people down more like. <laughs> They're gonna like buy new grass, like rolled up grass. Is that the plan here? I think he was just ripping out the weeds, but I guess he's like literally ripping out all. He like I joked about it, but he's literally ripping out all the grass. No, go away. <laughs> this is my cross to bear. 
心配するぞそれじゃお先にね岡崎さんもあんまり無理しないでください分かってる道具を整理したら俺も帰るよおやすみなさい岡崎さんおやすみなさいやっぱりもう少しやっていくか埋まっているのはきっと子供の頃の俺自身の記憶だ子供は眠っているのだろうか悪い夢は見ていないだろうかもしかしたら今やってることは全て無駄かもしれないそうなった時俺はどうすればいいのだろうそうなった時俺には耐えられるだろうか<笑>
referenced everywhere. They're like great scientists. There's now this guy who's talking about them as well. Um, I just... I don't know, man. It's so sad. Like, how could you... Like, she wasn't that old. She was, a, like, a literal child. And everyone just fucking left her alone in the house. And, like, she, like, developed unhealthy coping mechanisms and didn't, like, you know, like... It's, kind of, it's really fucked up, actually. It's really sad. I feel really bad for her. Same. Thanks for watching our re reaction review to this episode. Um, there's, there's not too much to talk about, so we'll get, just get on to the next one. I guess so. Um, hope you enjoyed, and uh, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. Bye-bye.